and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some teamer elementals in the competitive metagame challenge. The competitive metagame challenge is an event that is going on this weekend that we're going to be playing uh, mostly today, but then also tomorrow and Sunday we'll be playing in it as well. Sanctuary Tank, thanks for the sub there. I appreciate that. It's an event that is very top heavy in prizes, it has 2000 gold entry, very top heavy in prizes where you can, if you get up to seven wins, you can win 30 packs and so on. But if you lose a match, you are out. So it's, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a challenge. You know, that's, that's why it's called there. And this is going to be our first deck that we're going to play with it. The team are elementals. Um, I've been continuing to tune this deck since the last time we played it. And I like where, where the list is at right now. Um, a lot better than, than whenever we played it about four or five days ago. Uh, specifically, I like our sideboard a lot more. Um, just have, a, just have, you know, a bunch of good cards in here. I've been, I've been more impressed with Aether Gust than I thought I'd be. Um, in general, there's just so many green, green decks everywhere. Ah, sorry. I don't talk that much. I basically don't talk at all, except for like during streaming. And so it's always like this first video whenever I start recording it and talking a bunch, my throat is like, what are you doing? All right, got to get used to talking again. Um, <clears throat> but uh, let's see. Uh, besides that, you know, we had more like the Cavaliers. You know, we had like some blue Cavaliers and red Cavalier. And honestly, Nissa is just too good not to be, not to be playing. And so we got Nissa's in here now, and we can get the deck more focused on uh, green and red with just splashing blue. Um, you know, be able to focus our mana a little easier and, and everything. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely a strong deck. So this is going to be our first one that we're going to try out. Um, if if we do lose, like we may play, we may play this a couple of times here. Okay, maybe not just one challenge because you know, like if we play and lose our first match, or you know, like win two, lose one. Yeah, well, so we'll probably play this like you know two times or so. You know, we'll we'll kind of see. Um, I'm planning on taking a little bit more time with these decks here because this this metagame challenge. Then we'll have Gruel mid range today as well, and then we'll have a donation deck later on at the end of the stream. The late line ascendancy deck we didn't get to uh, didn't get to last night. <clears throat> All right, uh, Dragon uh, making my own cyborg guide right now for Esper Control. I was wondering for if main decking Legions end over Elder Spell would be worth it with the amount of Feather and Teamer Elementals there are right now. Yeah, I could certainly see that. There aren't there aren't nearly as many Planeswalkers as there was, like in this format, as there was last format. And so yeah, I could see main decking Legions end. There's just just tons and tons of small creature decks. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, you can you can sign up again for another two thousand gold. Yeah, you can play as many of the events as you want. I think I'm going to wait on the Omnath till after the Cavalier Thorns. I could be wrong, though. Hmm. Looking like that was wrong. Why would you... Yeah, if you win three wins and then lost, you shouldn't be super mad when you lose to an unwinnable matchup. Like, uh, I guess I didn't go over the, the prizes too much here, but uh, with the prizes, you do all you need to do is get to two wins to be able to break even. And by break even, I mean actually just make a profit. Like, you're, you're actually making a profit at two wins.
I don't seek free and I don't, I don't use Twitter at all. I just I deleted it and I don't use that account at all. So no, I don't. I'm not accepting follower requests or anything because I don't use it at all. All right, we got him down to six. We got this big Cavalier of Thorns. They're gonna have to chump block every single turn. And now we're at seven lands, which is a good number because if, even if we draw a land with Omnath, uh, whenever you have eight or more lands, whenever you play a land, then you draw, get to draw a card. So a land um, draws us a card. I will protect the virtue of this world. So we basically have all good draw steps right now. Hey, Necrolepsy. Harness the elements. Hmm. That was one of our worst draws <laughs> we could have. I'm gonna just hold on. Like the druid doesn't really do anything here. I'm gonna hold on in case the in case we draw a risen reef. The land fights for us. Well, not good. Kind of flooded out a little bit too much. This is very good. We got three big Chandras of our own. Be good cards to draw. I don't even know if it'd be that good to draw. <laughs> okay, what can this really do? We're just embleming. I'm Chandra, the immolation sensation. Let's get toasty. Don't really see anything else to do. I mean, it's very lethal, though. I suppose. I guess I should have killed something. Alright, so we're going to have some Aether Gusts. It's kind of about all I want. I don't think there's any. I, 
You know, Negate obviously is very good against Nyssa. Doesn't counter Chandra. Doesn't really do too much else. We could have Shiv and Fire to try to kill mana creatures, but it doesn't kill the O3 and doesn't kill the Paradise Druid right away, so I don't know if we really need that. Uh, what can you do about Fry? You can you can have Dive Down. Like if you're if you're playing blue. It's also just yeah, it's just a, a removal spell that kills stuff. Do I want to just take out my two Paradise Druids for these Aether Gusts? All the rest of the deck seems pretty important. I guess so. Which M20 would be able to team up in a metagame? Hmm. Uh... Well, PWN, this is, this, the Grill Midrange, like, these are two of my favorite decks right now. You know, like, we're playing these right here. Like, this is, if you're asking, like, what M20 kind of deck is going to do really well, I really like Teamer Elementals, and we're playing against Teamer Elementals also. better chance I'm happy as a hellion to start some fire. that if we play risen it's a better chance that if we play risen reef they'll kill risen reef than if we play chandra they kill chandra so i'm going to start with the, the chandra we are hopefully going to be able to play our awakened inferno next turn we gotta just hit what one land. And we we hit a land out of the three cards. So we're gonna wake an inferno next turn. I I think Omnath is better than Yurok. I prefer Yurok. I mean I I I would rather play your rock, but I think Omnath is better. No, I don't think any I don't think any uh lists are published in this event. I don't think as far as I know there aren't any arena lists that are published at all. Well, that's not good. We talked about how many lands and mana sources and everything that I have in this deck. And have no land, one land, have to mold a five. So I, I am playing 26 lands, so I'm playing a lot of lands. Wow. My opponent kept a one lander? Well, now we have a chance. I kept a one lander. What are they doing over there? What are you doing? We have the London Mulligan rule. You can you can mulligan. I just kept a All right, got our first win. So we got half of our entry fee back. Thousand gold. If we win another one, we'll get to fifteen hundred gold in one pack. Packs are worth a thousand gold. That's how much they cost in the store. So it's twenty five hundred gold worth of value. 
and the entry fee to this event is just 2,000 gold. So we need to get one more win, and then we're positive, and then, uh, yeah, keep on seeing how we go. Hey, that's awesome, King J. Awesome. That's exciting. Cool. Yeah, one down, six to go. Alright, they're going down to six cards. And kept. We need to draw land. Again, we got 26 lands in here, so shouldn't be too hard. Or maybe it will be. Land or Risen Reef. I'll take Land or Risen Reef. So that's 28 out of 52 cards. Over half of the cards are lands or risen reefs. Land. Let's get this thing in play. Two damage. I shock, you shock. We all shock. I just need one more land for the Awakened Inferno. Yay. Let's just do this right now. Let's make this quick. I've got other things to learn. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> well, that's likely game. They said nothing in turn three or turn four after Thought Erasure. That's unfortunate for them. And we drew uh, three lands in a row. I won't hide from the world any longer. Not so fast. Just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? It's only a matter of time. I don't know how they're beating these emblems. No, I, I don't know your reference of standard affinity. I don't know what that is referencing. All right, we're going to play Nagate's, not Shivan Fire. Nagate, Fry, Veil of Summer. And I'm taking out Would I rather have Leafkin or Paradise? Paradise actually does things, but Leafkin's better with Risen Reef. So probably play the one that actually does things. We'll do that. And for this matchup. I don't think Ceratops is really that good here. Don't care too much about it. Alright, let's see what we got. Yeah, Multani's awesome. What? Storm just got done eating filet steak, and boo, you're gonna have filet steak tonight? 
Man, I want filet steak. I'm gonna have a microwave dinner tonight after streaming. This kind of matchup against Esper, where I do, a, you know, we're we're playing a slower deck. I do like just hitting, a, like making sure we hit land drops and everything. Okay, just got to come on over to Ontario. Ontario, and I've never been to Ontario. That'd be a cool place to go. Hey, Elijah. Dr. Random with the Twitch Prime sub. Let's get some hype trick in this. here for Dr. Random. Thank you so much there, Dr. Random. Sub number two on the day. Kaya's Wrath. But why would one ever do such a thing? So yeah, I decided not to use the Fry on the Narset because that they had the backup Narset. So, you know, I'd, I'd be trading the Fry for an Impulse activation and felt it, that maybe our, the Fry could do a little more than that. No, 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 I want these cards. No. Good cards. My prowess is unmatched. Keep an open mind. So I'm waiting on the Omnath because we have, if I play Omnath, we play our seventh land and all we do is we get a counter, but then, then they, they definitely kill the Omnath. So if I wait a turn, next turn I can play Omnath, play eighth land and draw a card, you know, because whenever we have eight more lands we get to draw a card. Ooh. Well, maybe we don't have the land. I could discard the fry. prepared for this. Alright, everything worked out. We still have a fry in case of Big Teferi. Frying the Bell Haunt whenever they have Kaya's Wrath just doesn't doesn't sound like something I want to do. I was definitely thinking about taking out the Bell Haunt. But the fact that they have Kaya's Wrath led me away from it. I'm basically saving Fry for Big Teferi. Yeah, Mommy, you can. Go ahead. So keeping our land in hand because of Bell Haunt. 
and also because of Omnath. So two good reasons to keep it in hand. This isn't a fight you can win. Only time will tell. We need to move quickly. We'll see if we draw a Nissa or a Chandra. Those would be cool. This land where I was gonna get you. Oh yeah, they're 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 really dead. I mean, we only got twenty two. Yeah, twenty two turns. That's all they got. I don't know if they can overcome this land werewolf in twenty two turns, and a handful of spells with them missing land drops. Probably can't. So I would expect a concession at any point. Trust me, I have a plan. That one damage doesn't matter. Hey, that was uncalled for. Yeah, the the Chandra deck code is the only one that I'm that I'm aware of. Oh, yeah, we could definitely beat Esper from this point. Absolutely. I guess not if they, if they command the Dreadhorde for a bunch of stuff. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so they have the command the Dreadhorde, so we'll lose to that. But, like, before command the Dreadhorde, like, from just this point, I, I kind of feel like, like we still have a really good chance of winning. But not after command the Dreadhorde. That they're just doing the match math on dread horde we could draw if they dread horde for too too much we could draw a big chandra give them no, give them an emblem i mean they have little teferi in play they could just be waiting to my turn to command instant speed but i guess then they wouldn't be able to activate their planeswalkers though Trust me. You'll like thank me later. You know what? I'm not done yet. Cheotech. Welcome to the channel. Here goes nothing. Thanks for the support there, Cheotech. All right, our third sub of the day. Well, that doesn't do anything anymore. Um, I it's the same as a couple of days ago. I may have changed a couple. I may change a couple of cards in the sideboard, maybe. Let's get this in over this leaf druid. I don't really love the Ceratops, but I don't want another mana creature. I don't want a seventh mana creature. So I guess Ceratops it is. Yeah, but they, they have... Like... Unlike a lot of our cards, Ceratops doesn't uh, gain any value on its own. 
you know, doesn't have like any ETB effect or anything like that, and they have plenty of good removal to get rid of it. You know, that game we saw like Dispark, uh, Kaya's Wrath, stuff like that. It's it's fine, you know, it's a it's a threat. It's probably better than an O3 is gonna be, but it's not anything special just because Teferi can't touch it. That's not that big a deal. So I, could, I was definitely, you know, definitely scared of Thought Erasure. Obviously, it could have the Veil of Summer to protect from Thought Erasure. Anyone but I, I felt just playing one of the three drops right Kill away is, was a, the best thing to be doing. Instead of just sitting back and having Veil of Summer for a turn, I don't know. And then the reason why, if I if I play Chandra, it's it's harder for them to kill Chandra than Risen Reef. But then it's also. Um, But then also, if they have thought, if I play Chandra and then they thought Erasure away Risen Reef, I'll feel really bad. So I just want to make sure we drew our card off Risen Reef. Yeah, Zed, that's the the title of the stream being competitive metagame challenge. We are doing that. This hasn't really worked out, though. With our opponent having their removal spell for... Oh, I, I, I should be attacking with the land werewolf. Sorry, I was just talking. I should be attacking there with the land werewolf, though. But with that removal spell for Risen Reef, this hasn't worked out. Alright, so it looks like our opponent has Dispark. Yeah, we just need to draw that Nyssa or Chandra. You know, we just need to draw, like, one of those big cards. We didn't draw any of those last game. Or Risen Reef. You know, Nyssa, Chandra, Risen Reef. Any of those would be spectacular. It's a tough call, you know, whether to, to start playing out on turn two or not. You know, just just attack with land or elf, play like a tap land, have Veil of Summer for a turn. But then all I'm doing the next turn, you know, if they thought Erasure, I just Veil of Summer it. But then all I'm doing is again Risen Reef and hoping to untap and then Chandra kind of thing. Like it's still, still going to be the same kind of thing. I thought that turn two was the easiest turn to, un to untap. I need to keep a land in hand because of Basilica Bell Hunt. Um, I don't think you should take out Dovin's Veto in your sideboard if you're playing Esper. Noxious Grasp is awesome. You should probably be playing Noxious Grasp, but I don't know over, I don't know over what, but not Dovin's Veto. 
Blah. We have only drawn land and two mana creatures this game. After I took out four mana creatures <laughs> from our deck. I'm late to meditation anyway. We have not drawn a single thing that wasn't a land or a, ma land or a mana creature this game. <laughs> Alright, at least we're almost out of mana creatures. There's only two more in the deck. I'm known for my excellent timing. Let's try this. Uh, yeah, hostage taker is reasonable to take out of your sideboard. Drew a non land, non mana creature. We drew a real spell. It only took to turn eight. But we drew a spell. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dragon. Oh, yeah, anytime you want the song name, just do exclamation point song. Also. Chandra. A little late, but that's our card that can kill Lyra. Yeah, our outs to Lyra, that's this is what we have here, Chandra. Can't kill us this turn, but I can't kill them either. And they're gonna be able to kill me the next turn. I can't attack Don't worry. the planeswalkers because of Oath of Kaya. Well, that was a really, really disappointing loss. Two pretty bad flood outs there. I think our deck is incredibly favored against Esper. Just, you know, just flooded out really bad both those games. I I hope we keep playing against Esper though, because I, I don't think we'll lose hardly ever to Esper, but we did that time. Yeah, this this thing. Yeah, you can only you can only lose once. So we'll rejoin. All right, good looking hand. I 
I hope this is Esper. 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 Okay. So now do we... We know they don't have Thought Erasure. So I'm going to play the Chandra first. I'm happy as a hellion to start well, some fire. check that. We don't know if they don't have Thought Erasure, but they didn't have Black Source Thought Erasure. So I think it's... I think it's since they don't play Thought Rager on turn two, it's unlikely they play it on turn three. I think it's more likely that they would kill the Risen Reef immediately. Hmm. Have a backup Risen Reef. I, I probably was like if they just passed there with the four mana I wasn't gonna play the other risen reef honestly I was gonna play something else probably the cavalier of thorns but they they passed with the mana available so or they they used their mana sorry so now it's risen you reef time guys are great. Won't forget our time together. I could have played the other land of Orolf and just kept their Narset at one, but the problem with that, of course, is they have Elder Spell, which would could kill Chandra, put their Narset back up to three, they'd be able to activate it again. Alright, so I should I separate runs like this. So we went 1-1, one, one, and now we're 0-0. Oh, oh. I don't have enough swears right now. I'll protect you. So they're just saying just draw another card? Alright. easier when you draw more ris more than one risen reef or you know more than zero or one risen reefs oh i've done the hero thing before you got me Alright, so we still haven't seen Anissa or Big Chandra yet. So still looking for those. This might be a bad idea. I hope they don't have command the Dread Horde. I know my responsibility. 
That's the one that's the one card that's gonna beat us is Command the Dreadhorde. No, I am not making this up as I go. This is hardly my worst defeat. Oh, of course, us flooding out a whole bunch. I mean, Big Teferi will beat us now, also. I know 88 ways with thoughtfulness before. Alright, we'll see if we draw Anissa or Ashandra. It's possible I need another one of those planeswalkers in my sideboard, like another Anissa or Chandra. This isn't a fight you can win. That's more like it. No, I like the number of lands we have. But, you know, like we, we keep on going like more than 20 cards deep in our library and not seeing a single Nissa or Chandra. You know, we're at 26 right now. I have just the trick for this. I should probably have one more of those, at least in my sideboard. I've got time. Sorry, I'm late. Hold that thought. Y'all are really overrating Esper control right now in chat. Just because, like, all of these games, I just end up, like, not drawing any, any like, spell that does anything for the longest time. And so, therefore, the Esper deck wins. And I don't think it's necessarily on Esper. So one problem with Cavalier of Thorns here is, hope, like, we want to see a lot of lands... And mana creatures and stuff like that in this Cavalier of Thorns. We don't want to see the Nissas and Chandras at this point in these five. Okay. We'll take it. Fortunately, that's the last Risen Reef. That's the that's the real bad news. Um, Narset. The only thing Narset does is is Elder Spell. And that's the only thing it's really doing. It is like being being a planeswalker for Elder Spell for Big Teferi. Yeah, it is. 6-0. Yep. Interesting. That's a cool one. My purpose is greater than my I've never seen Karn and Esper before. That's pretty cool. Well, I don't have to worry about Command the Dread Horde nearly as much. If their plan is Sentinel Totem. Obviously, we don't get the Cavalier of Thorns trigger, but... 
Keep up the pace. So all the risen reefs being gone is pretty rough. Don't worry, I got this. So if we draw an Omnath, we get to, we get a redraw. Two Omnaths left. We get a redraw. You know, Big Chandra starts giving them emblems. Or, you know, kills Teferi first, I guess. And now it can't kill Teferi because it's seven loyalty. But Nyssa keeps giving us a whole bunch of threats. Those are the cards we need to draw here. Omnath, Nyssa, Chandra. Oh yeah, there's Multani. That card's hard to kill. Hey, these little guys are great. I could see them using Karn to grab Spyglass for Chandra. I've got it. I mean, I think that's what I'd be doing if I was them. My grief fuels my uh, they may have like a Meteor Golem or something like that to kill Chandra also though. So do I want to bring in Cinder Vines if they're playing Karn the Great Creator? No time for a break. game. 
Yeah, we have three of these things. Maybe we need a fourth on my sideboard. Still. We are not drawing that card. Or this card. We're not drawing those. Wrong card. Would I rather have Cinder Vines over Reclamation Sage? Doesn't feel like my opponent's playing Command the Dread Horde. Statue is in their sideboard a lot as a tutor artifact. Statue. Well, statue is not an artifact. Statue is a green black card. Oh, probably God Pharaoh statue. Yeah, I would expect God Pharaoh statue. This will probably be the game where we don't draw lands now. <laughs> Do you think Reef Omnath Cavalier Package is better than Explore Package? Absolutely. I have practiced against many foes. Keep an open mind. Nisa. Witness the ties that bind us all. Rise, my elemental friend. They don't actually have a forest, so if they cast down my the sulfur falls. Um, I mean, I guess they'd have to, if they Kaya's Wrath, I suppose. If they Kaya's Wrath, I won't be able to play Chandra. Unless we draw a forest. So I could just not activate Nissa, or I could not, you know, when I tick up, I don't have to choose a land to put counters on. But with having the Cinder Vines, I, I'm fine just sitting here playing this game of deal three, they kill my thing, deal, deal three, and so on. I can no longer stand by and watch. I'm not ready for this quite yet. This is hardly my worst defeat. Wow, that's really bad. Let us march into battle and make new combat. Wow, that's really bad. 
That was maybe the worst possible card we could see. That was so much worse than Kai's Wrath and everything. That could give them something that actually can race the Cinder Vines not to. That was maybe the worst possible card we could see that like an Esper deck would would reasonably play. Now it's really, really unfortunate. Hmm. Well, I certainly regret playing the Omnath. Regret turning these into creatures. That could this could not have gone worse. The Kaya's Wrath worst card we could see on turn four. And then the Liliana worst card we could see on turn six. Putrid, but effective. <laughs> Poor opponent. They tapped six gates to draw with guild summits when you had a Narset out. Oh, I feel bad for them. <laughs> oh, man. This is life. There's like just so many games in a row against Esper where I'd do anything just to draw a Nissa or a Chandra, and now it's just all Nissas and Chandras and no lands. That's how life goes. And then all of y'all in chat are talking about how good Esper is. What a beating. This this deck that we're currently playing is a lot better against Esper than Gruel Midrange is. <laughs> good help is easy to find in war. This deck has everything that Gruel Midrange does and more in the matchup. This is just taking up too much room. going too far across into like the la the mana base of like the opponent and stuff so I'm just gonna go back to zero zero here <laughs> just because I don't think we'll ever hardly lose to Esper doesn't mean it's gonna have you know won't happen a couple of times I, w I would love to keep playing against Esper we're just kind of having like worst case scenarios with like our draw steps happening in every single game that we're playing here. Yeah, we gotta draw better than like the worst possible is every draw step. Hey, way to go, Delotrius. 
Good job. Yeah, good job. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not early. This is, this is when I always start. I start at three o'clock Eastern. It's you know four. It's almost four thirty Eastern right now. So no, I, this is the the same time I'm always online. Start at three o'clock Eastern and go till around ten. Alright, we'll see how many more lands we draw. Remember, we mold the five, we put two lands at the bottom. So We've gone through eight of them so far. And prepare. Nine of them. your company well, we did blank a couple dresses basically putting our opponent on a mold of five also basically ten of them I will return. all right ten lands down only 16 left in the next 48 cards. We drew a spell. We drew a spell. I'm an explosively good. Hope it's not too hot for you. So we'll see if they have planeswalker removal. Hopefully not. Hooray! <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Keep these lands in hand because of Nicol Bolas, the Ravager, and because of Omnath. I guess I should have one more in play because of Omnath, though. Gods once, I am one again. Defiance try to come back for you. Has consequence. Draw a card. Spell. Bleh. Land. Yeah, these Lava Coils haven't been so good against all these control decks. You know, they, they may just have Nicol Bolas the Ravager at any point, though. They could have the, the Lava Coil doing something. Another time, planes walk. My intellect is without limit. And yeah, we got him in six turns with the emblem here. Emblems. Go, Elf, go. Yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah, if you don't have Multani, you can play it. probably just put in another Nissa. It's been a card I've been wishing that I had more of. If you don't have Multani. You could also play a Cavalier of Gales. You could play another Big Chandra. You can play a Vivian Arcbo Ranger.
It's kind of feeling like maybe I need some more top end to the deck. Hey, what's up, Temple Guard? My revenge will be painful. <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot exploit. I'm starting to think that the... I don't think... I don't think I have too many lands. I like how many lands I have. I think that I don't need the Paradise Druids. I think I was kind of worried... I don't know. I, I think I was wrongly worried about casting three mana Chandra. I think the two Paradise Druids could be two other bigger spells. You know, like like a four mana Vivian or a couple like two Hydroid Krasis, for example. That can be a real problem. Huh. Your efforts are futile. Two more turns. You should not take Llanowar Elf out of the deck. Let your weak minds crumble. Yeah, I think... Uh, yeah, I think turning Paradise Druids into Krasis could be the thing to do. I mean, it, it certainly helps us out in these kind of matchups. No. The focus and this is not good. So I'm worried about them having another Planeswalker and Elder Spelling with the Nicol Bolas, Dragon God, and... Killing me with that. You know, the, the Nicol Bolas Dragon God Ultimate's like the only thing that can kill me. Ooh, that's good. That's good. No. Oh, uh, well, we just gotta hope they don't have a land. Or, no, sorry, not a land. Sorry, a Planeswalker. Gotta hope they don't have another Planeswalker. Yay, that's good. All right. Didn't even try activating as Kanta. They may not be playing another Planeswalker. All right, so we're going to have a bunch of Negates and Fries and Veil of Summers. And we're going to take these things out. So either Gust does take out the Nicol Boluses. Same, so did the Fries, of course. So we're kind of replace Lava Coils with those. And then replace these two mana mana creatures with Negates and Veil of Summers. I think we should be good to go. Our opponent conceded because of the the Chandra emblems. We're going to kill them the next turn. And I guess they didn't have any way to gain life or anything. Yeah, they didn't activate Ascanta or Narset first, so I guess they just didn't have Enter the God Eternals or anything like that. Didn't they Moment of Craving? All right, see what we got.
interesting. I'm gonna just keep up Veil of Summer here, because, like, with Thought Erasure potentially. It's possible they're just not gonna, you know, if they had Thought Erasure, you know, now they know my hands, they, they know not to play Thought Erasure. Nope, they're still going to. I didn't want them to take my Risen Reefs. Hey, Zephyrs. Moment of Craving was the last opponent. Okay, gotcha. Good chance they have, like, Cry of the Carnarium here or something like that. Ritual said. Ooh. So we know they have just a bunch of spells in hand. Huh. That didn't stop very quickly. That's a good point. If they had a sweeper, they probably don't. Probably didn't need to cast Bedevil. That's over. Well, this is over. Cajun guy. Welcome back. Yeah, new set, new standard. Definitely been fun. Thanks for keeping up your streak, though. Even though you've been away for a little bit, I really appreciate that. I will return one day. I outsmarted you eons ago. I just want to attack them. Why are there so many triggers? I should have just attacked first and then played that that thing. Oh no, I didn't I didn't forget to make the Chandra elementals first because we were just killing them. I should have just attacked first and then, you know, like with the triggers and then uh just uh played the Omnath afterwards. But we just lost to control twice in a row before that, but we drew really, really bad. 
but we can lose the control. This is our third run here in the metagame challenge. Mono bread. Little Chandra is like the only thing that like shocking would have been good for. Ooh, not not mono red. We got some dinos. Dinos for dinner. Leafkin Druid hasn't been very impressive. No, I, I don't have Hydroid Crisis. We've been talking about that. I think I should have Hydroid Crisis. Now with like playing more games, they're gonna be taking out the two, the two Paradise Druid for two Crisis. So I can do this, and then minus X with like with you know minus three the to kill the Marauding Raptor, but then the Awakened Inferno only has three loyalty. I don't want it to only have three loyalty. You need more control. I want it to be able to take it up for a bunch of loyalty. Tell me if you've seen this one before. So I'm gonna do this, or at least next turn, you know, we can shock in here and have the. Leafkin on defense to help protect Chandra at the very least. Hmm. Ready to meet my flames. <laughs> bye bye. Fire spreads fast. Get some loyalty counters over here. Jeez. Find your fires of passion within. They just have a bunch of spells over there. I'm jelly. No. Ooh. That's a good spell. Hope it's not too hot for you. Fire spreads fast. With help. All right, thanks, good brother. Definitely doing this. We can do this together. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. Saving the lands is, you know, gonna be would be a lot better if we draw Omnath, of course. But you know, maybe making this Multani an 8-8 makes the difference in something. You know, like maybe they, I don't know, kill it with like a lightning strike and attack or whatever. 
And yeah, getting Chandra down to one loyalty that I could have done and kill a Riptar Raptor makes Chandra pretty vulnerable. I don't really want Chandra to be vulnerable. Either. I was definitely considering doing the minus five, put her to one, and then attack with the 8 8 Multani. But of course, they get to draw that extra card. I don't know. We're just getting a second emblem in here. Eight's a lot of loyalty. All right, the Chandra sisters getting that game for us. Let's do some Gustin. And it's kind of about it. I think we'll just take out the Druids for Gusts. Looks good to me. This is a really Shiv and Fire matchup, I don't think. We got the Vivian Mirror here. Someone in the YouTube comments today asked if I was planning on streaming on YouTube. What do y'all think? Should I, should I stream on YouTube? I don't really know what that entails or anything. Or how to do that. I don't, I don't really know the... I mean, I guess the upside would be reaching... And, you know, maybe, uh, man, if we just had a blue-red land. The upside would be, like, reaching a, another audience kind of thing. Maybe introducing people. Oh, I should, I should just take, I should just tuck the other land war elf. Playing and talking is hard. You can stream on both at the same time. Oh, other people said you can't stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. So I'm getting the impression that you either can or can't stream on both. Probably, I would, I would assume you would not be able to stream on both. That'd be my assumption. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, like, change or anything. It'd be, like, like, a, in addition to a kind of thing. Um, Anyone need a fire started? No? Don't worry. I brought company. I mean, I'm, I am partnered on Twitch. It wouldn't be something I would do very often. I, I wonder if there are any, if there are like viewers that if I if I did a stream or two on YouTube, if there are viewers from YouTube that would then find the channel and stuff. Go 
get him, buddies. So they put the rip draw down to the bottom of the library. Uh, that was the card I did not want to see. Ugh. Thought about that even with the, the ether gust. I don't have enough swears right now. Ooh, that is a card I want to see though. I'm not talking about streaming on both. I would not. I would not stream on both because my assumption is that I can't do that, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't try to go read through to see if I figure out if I could or not. I'd, I wouldn't stream on both. It would be just like an extra stream or two, just doing it on YouTube. Probably not even at the same time. You know, just like something, something small. That's that's all I'm talking about. After I've licked my wounds, you'll see. So I got two cards left. I wonder if I can double block here. I wonder if we'll be able to trade. Cavalier Thorns. Ugh. So close. Charging monster store is rough. Card's good. I guess you trade with monster store. What do I want to take out for you though? Do I want to take out one Omnath? Well, that's pretty good, though. I mean, I like I like little Chandra, of course, when we have Risen Reef. And I like little Chandra recasting these things, especially Aether Gust. But maybe I get rid of one little Chandra. I mean, if, you know, as y'all know, Risen Reef. If you have Risen Reef in play, then play little Chandra. It's just like it's. Pretty ridiculous. I guess I take out one though. Now you never cut Landwar off in any matchup ever. I'd cut Leafkin Druid first. Like Landwar is just better than Leafkin Druid with the one mana.
All right, well, not really rewarded for shocking in. There's a small chance that we needed Ether Gust the next turn, or, or like, or Lava Coil. You know, like, there's a better chance that we needed Lava Coil, of course. But it's all right. Um, we got two blue, two red. We'll get another red. Nissa and Chandra, no. Why are y'all going to the graveyard? Come back. A 5-6 is pretty big on turn 3. I'll give you that. It's not quite as big. Ooh. Hmm. Why can't we, this be Chandra? Uh, little Chandra would be so much better right now <laughs> than shifting Ceratops. Little Chandra would be broken, but oh well. Still a pretty good one. Got to get that zero in there. Got to get that zero. Okay, no, it's okay, good brother. No, don't don't worry about it. I'm too late on ascendancy today. It's good. Alright, here we go. Two and oh. Now we're now we're getting there. Yeah, metagame is shifting all the time. It's definitely changed since I'm 20, for sure. It's a fast hand with no payoff. Let's try shipping it. All tap lands? Four sulfur falls? Do we go to five? I mean, obviously we're ditching a Sulphur Falls here. No, we'll keep this six. Thanks, Delotrius. Yay, no Nissa. Now we just also have to hope for no crisis or mass manipulation or, you know, any payoff. 
Eh, that one's fine. All right, nine lands and 11 cards. We just gotta hope our opponent also is just has a whole, you know, another land in hand. Nothing else. Ten lands and twelve cards. Dang, they drew a spell. Behold, nature's true power. No, that's such a good one. Ugh, oh, no, that's another spell. Not a need lands. Need my opponent to draw lands. No. Ugh, Risen Reef is busted. And they're not even drawing lands? Why would this tap the Sulphur Falls? Why would that be a good idea? Alright, well, we did not draw very well. We want these, we want all these, we want all these, all these. But this is red or green? Yeah, it's still fine. Um. All right, maybe not Aether Gus. Aether Gus very good against Nissa though. So that's kind of about it in their deck. It's not even really that great anyway. Um, I guess we take out Multani and a Leaf Kin Druid and. Yeah, Ceratops is fine. Doesn't really match up against Nissa that well. It's just good against mass manipulation. How's this hand winning? Yes, it can. We've been really good at drawing lands. Except for when we need them.
Lord Jirac uh, Jiraxis. Getting that gifted sub from Good Brother. Thank you so much, Santa Good Brother. Looking out for Lord there. How do they not have any mana creatures? Are they just going to be countering my Acolyte of Flame? I don't, I don't really want my Acolyte of Flame countered. Are they playing counter spells? For real. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for the sub. Keeping the hype boats going. Um... So definitely considering just not playing Chandra and waiting next turn to be able to have Vela Summer and Chandra together. Ugh, gross. That was the worst possible scenario. They had the counter spell. Ugh, and we had the land next. Should have just waited. Alright, sub number seven on the day. Pass the turn. But the metagame challenge is getting a lot of getting a random meta deck and see how you good you do. Oh yeah, no. There you go. As per discard's good. Guess I should have held up negate. We are all connected. Just can't win. Rise, my elemental friend. Alright, well this game probably would have gone better for me if I just didn't play cards, if I didn't play my three or four mana cards. But I did. I just didn't play my cards, think this would have gone better for me. But we are certainly gonna lose this now. I'm not not beating Nissa. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, we got a pack, we'll crack it open. Hey, a Mythic Wild card. Best possible pack. So there we go, that was, that was a great pack. All right, so as we talked about with the deck, I think we're we're two cards off, at least to start with here. Yeah, mono blue would be a good choice. I'm probably I'm I'm gonna be playing this deck again either tomorrow or Sunday in this metagame challenge because I do like it a lot. Uh, certainly had some problems though, so we're gonna we're gonna play Krasis over the Paradise Druids. We're getting a couple crises in here. And likely we should play Crisis over Multani too. Yeah. Crisis is just gonna be better than Multani. Okay. 
So that's those are going to be like the small little bit of changes. I like the sideboard, I like what we have going on. Um, yeah, I think I think this this will help us out a lot. Um, but yeah, we're going to make that little change there. Play some crises. Uh, there for the next time whenever we play it. Uh, but we'll move on to Gruel Midrange for now. Um, the, uh, yeah. So a little disappointed how we did with this deck. I was expecting it to do better, to be honest. But, man, we drew really bad <laughs> a lot of those games. And Krasis helps you not draw bad because like crisis is good whenever you like you're kind of stuck on mana and you only have four lands or whenever you flood out like almost all of those games that we had that we were just flooding out all the time and never having any spells to play uh crisis would help us just a ton there also so there we go all right uh, if you're watching this video later on youtube i hope you liked it please hit that uh like and subscribe buttons if, if you did and um if you're looking for a deck to play in the metagame challenge, I do think this is a really good option, even though it didn't necessarily go the best for us. Um, but there we go. That's that's Teamer Elementals. Like I said, I'm going to play this either tomorrow or Sunday again before the competitive metagame challenge goes away. I'm going to play this again. Um, but until then, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.